So three very talented comedians whose show, Alosa Spookies, is back for a second season. You can see new episodes Fridays at 11 p.m. on HBO and HBO Max. Let's take a look. No me dejen entrar en mi cartera. Tati, nadie estaba mirando tu cartera, aunque nos morimos por saber qué hay dentro. Pero bueno, ya que se despierta, me hacen chicle. Mmm, está caliente. ¿Te acostumbras? Please welcome back to the show. Our very own Fred Armisen, along with Anna Fabrega and Julio Torres. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm so happy to have all three of you here. Uh, this is one of uh, the more unique shows on TV. I would like to ask each of you how you would describe Los Spookies if someone hadn't seen it yet. Um, if, if it starts with me, let's see. Uh, I would say... It does. A, it, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, uh, a group of friends, four friends, have a business where they get hired to um, fool people and scare people. Okay. Um, I would say it's about a group of friends who have a business where they help trick people. <laughs> Pretty similar so far. Uh -huh. It's it's a, a half hour comedy <laughs> <laughs> on HBO and or HBO Max. This is good. <laughs> See, these are, this is helpful because he's like he's got details for me. Yeah. Uh, 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 first season, 2019. <laughs> how, how much per episode? How much? Per episode? Um, I was thinking about the budget. No, uh, <laughs> Uh, um, it, and it is, uh, it, it's a, it's sort of like a, like a cartoon for adults. Yeah. I think yeah. it is, it has the absurdity of a cartoon. Yeah. You Anything mentioned season one was 2019. This is, I don't think most shows have a gap like this. I found it incredibly comforting to come back into the second season. Was it different writing a second season? Because again, it's so... You were so, uh, did so much world building in the first season. Was it nice to just sort of write the characters now? Yeah. I mean, and also a, b a big part of the break was just we couldn't find the scripts. <laughs> like, after we wrote the second season, it yeah, was Yeah, we how, lost the scripts. Yeah, it was like, oh, that you had the scripts. Oh, Wait, you had I the don't scripts. have them. <laughs> <laughs> and then th three oh, no, years no. later, okay. oh, okay, we found the scripts. Gotcha. So, so there was just yeah. the one hard copy of the scripts. It, yeah. wasn't, it <laughs> yeah. wasn't like a thing you would email to each other. No. Oh, well, that's no, real. No, because we're, we're like... You know, HBO and confidentiality, it's oh, yeah, so you scared. Oh, yeah, right. So it's like... It's game. like Marvel movies, the Los Spooky scripts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, well, yeah, if anyone Marvel got a hand... Then, what? It, it kind of is Marvel movies, really, right? Yeah, 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 in a way. So this happens in the Marvel universe, Los Spooky? I think so. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. In, yeah. in a seg, like a sub-segment of it. No, do yeah. the Marvel, do the people who control the Marvel properties have any idea that you've put your show in the Marvel universe? <laughs> Well, they don't decide what goes into the Marvel universe. That's true, right. Yeah. They can build it, but they don't decide who comes and goes. I'm truly waiting for, like, the Pillsbury Doughboy to join the Avengers. <laughs> yeah. You actually did have uh, an issue with Betty Boop, trying to put yeah. Betty Boop into the show. Not as easy as you thought. Not as, as, a, uh, as cheap as you thought it might be. No. So, so, you go. We're big fans of Betty Boop. Of course. You're, it's your generation. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And we knew we wanted to get Betty involved in season two. Yeah. Right. And so we wrote this little thing uh, thinking we'll be able to have it animated and show Betty Boop. Turns out, way out of our budget. Really? Yeah. Even today, when it feels like maybe nobody's trying to use Betty Boop. <laughs> oh, no. And see, like, we, we like Betty Boop, or at least I know that I do, because she's inexplicably a Latin icon. Yeah. It's yeah. like, if you go south, yeah. I, like, truly, you'll see her everywhere. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So and we're talking, just, just to clarify, we're talking about the 1930s or 40s, <laughs> yeah. black and white, like, sexy, like, ooh, ooh, like, <laughs> uh <-huh. yeah>. <laughs> cartoon. <laughs> and so in modern South America, she's a big deal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you see a Betty Boop sticker on a car, you know the 
racial profile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so you reached out and the, the boop estate was like, you can't even uh, it was, begin. The boop yeah. estate was like, it's a non starter. <laughs> yeah. For how much money? No. Yeah. And then, you know, like HBO could have been like, well, do you want Nicole Kidman? We can afford that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, we need Betty. You, uh, so the show, again, because it's very surreal, it's very absurd, sometimes you as writers will uh, write something uh, that maybe you don't quite appreciate how technically difficult it will be. Uh, yeah. that sometimes, uh, like, was there a bu an issue with a butterfly and thinking it would be easier to use a butterfly than it did? Yeah, we, we had, uh, there's a moment where we wanted to have a live butterfly land on my nose. Uh -huh. And we talked to the animal person who was like, you can't train a butterfly. <laughs> and we're like, but surely there's a way someone can teach a butterfly to land on my nose. Or what if we shoot it backwards? We put honey on my nose. We start with the butterfly on my nose. The butterfly flies off. We reverse it. And they were like, you can't train a butterfly. <laughs> By the way, problem solver over here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, Would have never thought of that. But the, and that, like, because my pet peeve, and I think we talked about this, my pet peeve, one of my biggest pet peeves is CGI butterflies. Yeah. Every time I see, tell. and like they're they're everywhere, and they look bad. <laughs> they they are everywhere. It's yeah. infestation. It's a digital <laughs> it's, infestation. It is. It's yeah. like, oh, it's now springtime, and here comes the CGI butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we didn't want to be one of those shows doing that. Yeah, and then we, we had no we choice. Was the honey? I was the honey to lure the butterfly or to stick the butterfly? Both. Okay, it's both. Yeah, so but it was like a was trap. But then was the idea that it would have to eat away at the part that was sticking its legs? I did not think this through. <laughs> okay. This, it was like, in theory, you would think a butterfly eats honey? Yeah, right. Maybe? Are all bugs? I think all bugs are supposed to eat honey, yeah, right? Yeah, they okay. all like Based honey. on... But the bees manufacture. that's what I'm saying. Like, why do we all think yeah. that? The bees, the bees don't eat it. They, yeah. The bees don't eat it? They make it for they the other it. insects. Yeah. Oh, so they're like, they're, they're like, like a, they're like a, a vegan that owns a butcher shop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like I won't touch it. Yeah. But I'll sell it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You, there. You mentioned uh, an animal wrangler being in charge of the butterflies and all the animals. Um, when you use too many animals on our we show. had a, it's a surprising amount of animals. Gotcha. And how do you feel in general about using them? I, you know, I. There's a horse this season. A horse, yeah. That I that I rode for, I'm gonna say two seconds before the stunt double takes over. Yeah. Um, it was truly just like me getting on the horse, cut. Yeah. <laughs> fully like a, a, a woman in a wig riding yeah. a horse. But I I don't know. I felt kind of like uh, weird that no one asked the horse if the horse wanted to be on the show. Yeah. Yeah, because you could tell you know the horse comes with their wrangler. And the Wrangler wanted the horse to be there, but the horse is like... The Wrangler's like, the horse loves it. Yeah, and the horse... <laughs> the horse loves yeah. it. <laughs> we don't know if the How horse... How can you tell? Yeah. yeah. You tell. Yeah. Well... That it's happy. I guess if it comes back for season three, you know it liked it. Do right? you ever... Yeah. Are there any horses on your crew? Uh, we don't have any horses on the crew. No, oh. we did, but then... Yeah. There was an COVID. issue. Yeah, COVID. COVID. <laughs> yeah. 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 With a horse, the masks yeah, yeah, are yeah. impossible. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. so, yeah, yeah. just the elastic has to go so... Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, whatever. I will say, uh, the result, it paid off. Um, you obviously uh, all know what you're doing with the show. It is so uh, wonderful and specific, and I'm so happy it's back. And thank you guys for being here. It's just a delight. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Fred Armisen, Anna Fabrega, Julio Torres, Los Spookies. Friday nights at 11 on ABC and HBO Max. We'll be right back with music and Master Mix.